you know, writers like Stephen King, you know, often talk about like their process of, you know, what they do, like what they eat when they wake up, like uh, when they sit down, like how they like their desk, you know, on a, on a perfectly productive day, like what they like to do, how long they like to work for, what enables them to think deeply, all that kind of stuff. Um, Hunter S. Thompson did a lot of drugs. Uh, you know, everybody <laughs> has their own thing. Uh, what's, do you have a thing? Do you, is there, if you were to lay out a perfect productive day, what would that schedule look like, do you think? Part of that's hard to answer because I like um, the mode of work I do changes a lot from day to day. Like some days I'm writing. The thing I have to do is write a script. Some days I'm animating. The thing I have to do is animate. Sometimes I'm like working on the animation library. The thing I have to do is like a little, I'm not a software engineer, but something in the direction of software engineering. Some days it's like a variant of research. It's like learn this topic well and try to learn it differently. So those is like four very different modes of what it, some days is like get through the email backlog of people I've been, <laughs> the tasks I've been putting off. Um, it goes research, scripting, like the idea starts with the research and then and there's scripting and then there's programming and then there's the uh, yeah. showtime. And the research side, by the way, I, like what's, I think a problematic way to do it is to say, I'm starting this project and therefore I'm starting the research. Instead, it should be that you're like ambiently learning a ton of things just in the background. And then once you feel like you have the understanding for one, you put it on the list of things that there can be a video for. Otherwise, um, either you're going to end up roadblocked forever, or you're just not going to like have a good way of talking about it. Um, but still some of the days it's like the thing to do is learn new things. So what's the most painful one? I think you mentioned scripting. Scripting is, yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. Right. Writing is the worst. So what's your, on a perfectly, so let's take the hardest one. What's a perfectly productive day? You, you wake up and it's like, damn it, this is the day I need to do some scripting. And like, you didn't do anything last two days. So you came up with excuses to procrastinate. So today must be the day. Yeah, I uh, I wake up early. I I guess I exercise. Um, and then uh, I turn the internet off. Uh, <laughs> if, if we're writing, yeah, that's, that's what's required um, is having the internet off. And then maybe you keep notes on the things that you want to Google when you're allowed to have the internet again. I'm not great about doing that, but when I do, uh, that makes it happen. And then when I hit writer's block, like the solution to writer's block is to read. doesn't even have to be related. Just read something different uh, just for like 15 minutes, half an hour, and then go back to writing. Um, that when it's a nice cycle, I think can work very well. And when you, when you're writing the script, you don't know where it ends. Right. Like you have a, like problem solving videos. I know where it ends. Expositional videos. I don't know where it ends. Like coming up with a, with the magical thing that makes this whole story, like ties this whole story together. Is that, when does that happen? That's, that's the thing that makes it such that a topic gets put on the list of like, videos oh, that's an issue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you shouldn't start the project unless there's one of those. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you have, you have so many nice bag that you haven't such a big bag of aha moments already <laughs> that you could just pull at it. That's one of the things. And one of the sad things about time and that nothing lasts forever <laughs> and that we're all mortal. Let's not get into that, um, <laughs> 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 discussion, uh, is, you know, if I see like, even when I ask for people to ask, like ask, I did a call for questions and people want to ask you questions. And so many requests from people about like certain videos they would love you to do. It's such a pile. And I I think that's a, that's a sign of like admiration from people for sure. But it's like, it makes me sad because like whenever I see them, g people give ideas, they're all like very often really good ideas. <laughs> and it's like, it's such a, makes me sad in the same kind of way when I go through a library or through a bookstore, you see all these amazing books that you'll never get to open. <laughs> so, so yeah, so, so you, de yeah. So Gotta enjoy the ones that you have. Enjoy, enjoy the books that are open and don't let yourself lament the ones that stay closed. What else? Is there any other magic to that day? So do you try to dedicate like a certain number of hours? Do you, uh, uh, Cal Newport has this deep work kind of idea. I'm there's systematic people who like get really on top of, you know, they checklist of what they're going to do in the day and they like count their hours. And I am not a systematic person in that way. It's, which is probably a problem. I very likely would get more done if I was systematic yeah. in that way, but that doesn't happen. Um, 
So, so you know, maybe you talk to me, talk to me later in life, and maybe I will have like changed my ways and give you a very different answer. I think Benjamin Franklin, like later in life, figured out the rigor. He has these like very rigorous schedules and what how to how to be productive. I think those schedules are much more fun to write. Like it's very fun to like write a schedule and make a blog post about yeah, like the perfect yeah. productive day. Um, that like might work for one person, but I don't know how much people get out of like reading them or trying to adopt someone else's style. And I'm not even sure that they've ever followed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, like you're that, always going to write it as the best version of yourself. Yeah. Um, you're not going to uh, explain the phenomenon of like wanting to get out of the bed, but not really wanting yeah. to get out of the bed and all of that. 